What's up, you guys? Chad Guthrie, the Dream Poet here, coming to you all with another vlog here in the Sunshine State. And today, we are out near Live Oak, Florida. Technically, we are not far from a Florida ghost town. Yes, yes, Florida has those. It's called Ella, Ellaville. Ellaville was formed in 1861, and we are going to uh, look at that place or whatever remains of it. There's not a whole, whole lot left, but for the meantime, we're gonna check this place out. This, my friends, is the Hillman Bridge. It was built in 1926, triple riveted. Um, it's about 3,000, well, not 3,000, 1,000 feet long, 996 feet. And for many, many years, while this town was a thriving logging community it was the hustling and bustling bridge that took people from point a to point b but that all changed in 1986 when this bridge right here across from it was built and within a few short years in 1986 this bridge was abandoned I was doing some research. Apparently there is an old plant, a sawmill plantation somewhere that's not far up the river. I think that's also a part of Ellaville. We'll have to check it out. Um, as for the meantime, they say this bridge. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Maybe it goes along with the story that I'm about to tell you all. They claim that this bridge is haunted i call it a bridge demon uh some people say the ghost who haunts this allegedly haunts this bridge he was a apparently he committed suicide by jumping off the bridge i'm not too sure about that but all in all this is just an amazing place to come out to I had no clue it was here up until a fellow youtuber uh, his name is tampa j he went here and I had to drive out an hour and a half from my home or from my area in Florida just to check this place out. And we might be able to find it, but they claim that Ted Bundy carved his name in a rock somewhere here. That's what park rangers around here claim. I don't know about that, but we're going to try to find that too. So let's do it. All righty. Um, as we make our trip, these two buildings are some of the remnants that are left of Ellaville. Um, or at least that's what I was reading on some websites. I forgot exactly what this building is right here. But it just goes to show its age. And it just kind of makes you wonder about a bygone era. Yes, way back in the day, Ellaville was a town formed back in 1861. Back, well, during the days of major lumbering. Yes, Ellaville was a lumberjack community, and it was for many years up until, well, she, she dried up a few years later, but anyway, I do believe we found some of the buildings, but we're, th these aren't the ones that were we're looking for in particular.
that was some great drone footage but you guys I do believe or at least I think the mansion already more than likely burned down this is the Drew Mansion site um, approximately one half mile to the northwest is the site of the Drew Mansion home of George F. W. Drew and he was the governor from 1877 to 1881 and sadly it was burned in 1970 now I'm assuming that this is what's left of the mansion I might be wrong but uh, we're going to continue to explore why I assume this is because this while this is right over here the plaque is right over there and that's exactly one and a half miles well not one and a half but half a mile so after seeing this we are going to find the place where Ted Bundy hid yes this was his last excursion before um, getting well getting arrested he killed a 12 year old girl and he hid out in this old building and um, I'll just have to tell you the rest of this this gruesome tale it's really sad hidden here away from the rest of the world is the place where Ted Bundy allegedly hid from the cops while he was on the run in 1978 from the Chi Omega sorority house murders and now I can't go any further than here because this is private property and I will respect that but you see not uh, a lot is left of the Sewanee River store that's technically what this building is used to be an old part of the, uh, the logging community Now this is according to some of the park rangers from the Suwannee State Park or Suwannee River State Park is that somewhere on the bridge or somewhere in that building there Ted Bundy carved his name in there. Now that's more of a local legend I'd like to say but this place is not that far from where Ted Bundy was apprehended. You see after the Chi Omega sorority house murders, Ted Bundy was on the run. He, I believe he killed two or, th two or three other women. Um, but it was here that he hid. And one particular little girl that caught his eye, he was, or he was desperate. And it was, I believe, Lake city junior high school he was preying on little girls he was hurting he was craving he was needing one and little kimberly leach 12 years old she forgot her purse in the principal's office went to go get it and there ted bundy was and he said hey you there from there he brought her over to the car and that's where this son of a bitch pulled her in, took her, raped her, and dropped her body in a pig furrowing shed not far from the Suwannee River State Park. And really, this is probably one of the last pieces of infamous history that really this, this monster should just be forgotten. But, I know I'm kind of being, I'm kind of being a hypocrite, well not hypocritical, but rather, I don't know what the word is exactly, but I wanted to come out here today and just show you all this is this is one of the last places allegedly that Ted Bundy hid out in. He was a monster. He was executed on January 7th, I believe. January 7th in Stark, Florida at around 7:58, I believe. I believe it was by no, by the electric chair. So you guys that is going to be my vlog for the day. I thought I'd share that with y'all. So remember, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. That will keep you in the loop on daily content of my life here in the state of Florida. So anyway, love you all very much. Stay posted. Stay tuned. Peace out, you guys.